Welcome to the webinar Identifying Aberration with Optic Studio Feature. My name is Marine Duga and I'm Optical Engineer at ZMAX. Today we are going to talk about primary aberration and how to recognize this aberration in Optic Studio. We will first see what's an aberration and then we will go through examples that highlight each aberration with Optic Studio feature. When we are talking about third order aberration, it means that we are keeping the third order term in the sign term in Snell law. This nonlinear term will cause deviation from the perfect wavefront. This deviation are the aberration. The wavefront expansion expression defines each aberration. Each term is a specific aberration that can be recognized in Optic Studio with different features. When we are talking about a wavefront in Optic Studio, we are always talking about wavefront difference. So the difference between the perfect sphere and your current wavefront in your system. Today, we are going to see focus, distortion, field curvature, astigmatism, coma, and spherical aberration. Let's start with the first example, which is the focus aberration. Here in this file, we have a perfect imaging system with a paraxial lens. The focus aberration will appear the same as a simple shift in the image location. So we are going to open some feature and see the difference between this perfect system and the system when we change the image location. We are going to look at three features. The first one is the OPD. The OPD is the wavefront map cross section. So here in a perfect system, we have a flat wavefront. Another feature is the ray fan. This plot shows the derivative of the OPD plot. And another feature, which is image simulation. And this feature shows the simulation of the image produced by the system. So let's just have a look at a demo picture with a field. So for our perfect imaging system, we see we have a perfect image here in the image simulation and OPD and Refan, these two plots are flat, so no aberration in our system. We say that focus is like a shift in the image location so let's add a shift in the image location. And now we can see that the focus here seems to be a parabolic wavefront deformation on the OPD. And because the ray fan is the derivative of the OPD, so here we have straight line in the ray fan. If you look at the layout, you can see that our image plane is not on the focus anymore. And the image simulation, so here we can see the image produced by this system, which is out of focus. So the focus aberration can be recognized in the OPD plot at parabolic deformation, in the ray fan, and with the image simulation. Let's now have a look at the next aberration, which is the distortion. So distortion will be very important in wide angle system. In this system, we can have a look at the field which 
are 100 degrees fill. So distortion will be important in this system. Three features that can be used to recognize distortion in Optic Studio. Image simulation, again, so with this feature, you can see the distortion on the image. Another feature, the field curvature distortion. So here you can see the distortion along the field. So 0 to 50 and the distortion in percent. And another feature, the grid distortion. So here, this plot is a grid of chiffre intercept point. So you can see the displacement of each point in the grid. So these three feature, grid distortion, field curvature distortion, and image simulation will help you a lot to recognize distortion in your Optic Studio file. The next aberration is the field curvature. So let's open this file. That's a doublet. So the field curvature aberration means that the image will be formed on a curved surface. So you can see here we have three field of view and because the focal length is not a function of angle, so as you are going off axis, the focus will be at different location. If you want to recognize field curvature in Optic Studio feature, the easiest one would be the ray fan. So here the ray fan, what you need to look at is the slope through the origin of the Y fan of this plot. So because it depends on the field of view, you can see here the slope will be different between different field of view on the Y fan. So this is a characteristic of the field curvature aberration. So as we are going off axis, the slope of the ray fan change. A way to correct this aberration will be to curve the image plane. So like that, here the image will be at the right location for each field of view. The next aberration is astigmatism. The astigmatism means tangential rays focus at different location along the shift ray than the sagittal rays will do. Field curvature and astigmatism very often occur at the same time. So we are going to stay on the same file and look at the astigmatism on this file. So which feature is going to be useful? Ray fan again, but here we are looking at the difference between X and Y. So you can see here X and Y are different plots. And we can also look at the OPD where we're going to see the difference between X and Y as well. So here you can see the curves are not the same. Another feature which can be very useful is the field curvature distortion. We already used this one for the distortion, but there are two plots on this feature. So distortion on the right and field curvature on the left. So here this plot represents the distance from the image, pl image plane to the paraxial image as a function of the field coordinate. And you can see tangential and sagittal plots. So here the difference between tangential and sagittal, so astigmatism. So the astigmatism can be recognized with a difference in X and Y in the ray fan and in the OPD and also with a field curvature distortion. This last feature combines three aberrations, field curvature, distortion and astigmatism. The next aberration is the coma. So I'm going to load another file. 
coma will destroy the symmetry of a spot. Um, the centroid of the coma blur is displaced from the shift ray no matter where the focal plane is placed. And so we get this comet shaped. Here a file um, with a conic minus one and we are going to look at the OPD. Um, the coma will have a cubic form in the OPD plot. So here you can see. And so if you are looking at the ray fan, which is a derivative of the OPD, you're going to have a parabola on the ray fan. So that's a characteristic of the coma aberration. You can also look at the spot diagram. And here you can see the comet shaped on the spot diagram. The spot diagram trace concentric rings of rays into the pupil of the lens. With the coma aberration, the radial zone moves out in the pupil and the radius and center position of the circle form on the image will move as well. And this is why we get this comet shape in the spot diagram. That will be the easiest way to recognize the coma aberration. The waveform map will also show the cubic nature of the coma aberration. So here you can see the cubic shape like in the OPD. The next aberration and the last one for today is the spherical aberration. Let's open the file for the spherical aberration. This aberration will appear on axis and it's rotationally symmetric aberration. If we zoom on the layout, we can see that here rays are not focusing at the same location along the z-axis. We can have a look at the spot diagram to see how this aberration will occur. So here we can see we have a tight central core with zonal rays scattered further away. That's how the spherical aberration will look like uh, in a spot diagram. We can also have a look at the OPD and the ray fan. So the OPD, that's going to be a quartic um, shape in this plot. And in the ray fan, so that's going to be the derivative of the OPD. And here we get a cubic shape here in the ray fan. So ray fan, OPD and spot diagram will be three features that will help you to recognize spherical aberration in Optic Studio. So let's have a look at a summary of all features that can be recognized um, aberration in Optic Studio. So for the focus, you can look at the OPD and the ray fan. The OPD will show a parabolic waveform deformation and the, the ray fan a straight light. Image simulation will show you the image out of focus. The field curvature distortion can also show you the out of focus um, location of the image. If you want to look at distortion, the grid distortion will help you identify this aberration. Field curvature distortion as well, so you can see the distortion along the field. And image simulation uh, will help you to identify this aberration on the image produced by the system. The ray fan and the OPD will help you um, seeing astigmatism. So when you have a difference between the X and Y plot, the field curvature distortion plots the sagittal and tangential as well. So you will see the difference and you can recognize astigmatism if these two plots are different. 
In a spot diagram, you can recognize astigmatism because you have a difference between X and Y as well um, on the shape of the, um, of the plot. Coma, that will be ray fan, OPD, and spot diagram. So in the spot diagram, you can see the comet shape on the ray fan and on the OPD. So you can see the cubic form in the OPD and the parabola on the ray fan. For the spherical aberration, once again, that will be ray fan, OPD, and spot diagram. So on the spot diagram, you can see these um, rings around the tie uh, core in the, on the plot. Then the quartic uh, form in the OPD and the cubic form in the ray fan. For the field curvature, you can look at the ray fan and the difference in a slope between different field of view on the Y plot. And the field curvature distortion feature will help you identify this aberration as well. So Optic Studio has many features to help you um, to see this aberration in your system. With this example, we're only looking at one, maybe two aberrations at the same time. So it was quite easy to recognize this aberration. But sometimes it can be a bit more difficult to see which aberration are in your system. That's why we also provide the CDL diagram plots that will plot CDL aberration coefficient. So that's going to plot this coefficient for each surface, and you can see the sum for your system. This feature will also help you to identify um, balanced aberration, so when it's balanced between two different surfaces. The CDL diagram works very well on axis, but um, as you are working with tilt system, it might not work very well. So you have to use the OPD or the REFAN, which is going to work with any kind of system. So as you can see, Optic Studio has a lot of features to help you um, recognizing aberration in your system. We thank you for attending this webinar. We will start a question answer session in a few moments. Thank you.